Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to see about another interesting topic on how to mimic the browser's user agent. So we all know uh, we have lots of browsers, the Mozilla, the Firefox, the uh, Edge, the Chrome, the Internet Explorer, right? So we used to record these scripts using one browser, but there could be a requirement where the business might ask us to run the test with multiple browsers to see how much response times do they take and how do they exactly behave with different browsers or with different user agents. So today in this video, we'll see how to mimic uh, with, I mean like you, uh, to execute a JMA script using different browsers by mimicking the browser's user agent. So for that, we need to modify the user agent header in the HTTP request, and then uh, we can achieve what we really want to do. So in this video, I will show you how to do that step by step. We'll see with some two different examples, and I will show you how to do that. And uh, before we move on to this video, this is me, Avasan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our little slide YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, share the video with your friends, and uh, comment your questions and feedback in the comment section. And please don't forget to give a join to my channel. It just cost 29 rupees per month, which is hardly less than the price of a coffee, or I would say 99 pence is less than a price of one Greg's hot drink. So please do consider joining uh, my channel and help me to create more quality content like this. So with no further delay, let's go to the video. And now I have a script here. So uh, let me save this. I don't want to disturb this. So let me save this test plan as let me create a new folder and this is going to be browser minus emulation. And at this, I'm going to create my first one, which is, we can keep it as Chrome Edge Firefox dot JMX. Okay, so, so that you can easily identify next time. And here I have a script. So I have, which I have recorded using uh, Firefox. So I'm going to run this using Chrome and then let me duplicate this script. So let me right click on this and duplicate the creative script. And then I'm going to change this to Firefox. And then I'm going to duplicate this again, where I'm going to keep it as the edge. So now we have three different scripts. I mean, three scripts, and we're going to use three different agents because we all know we uh, have recorded these scripts with using uh, the Firefox. So how to do that? And for that, uh, let me go to the Chrome, the Chrome thread group. And uh, this, I'm going to add the config element, and that is HTTP header manager. So now I have the HTTP header manager, which is under the Chrome script. And then let me, uh, I'm going to copy it, paste. Now I have it under Firefox. Same way, I'll paste it for the edge as well. Paste, and now I have for the edge, right? So now I have three different HTTP header managers. So what are we going to do now? So I'm going to add a user agent. So for that, I'm going to select the HTTP header agent, the header manager, and then click on add. And the name of this is going to be user minus agent. And since this is a Chrome a browser, so here I have the user agent for this. Let me paste it here in the value section. So here I have my user agent for Chrome browser. And same way, now I'm going to configure this for other browsers as well. So for Firefox, so if you have recorded using Firefox, you do not want to add, but in case if you are not, if you haven't recorded using Firefox, but you have recorded using Chrome and you wanted to test it using Firefox, you can use this header manager. And I'm moving on to the uh, Firefox. Let's add the user, user minus agent, and then the value. Yep, we are good. And then moving on to the edge, same way, we have to add 
the user minus agent and then the value yep so now we have three different i mean three scripts with three different browsers and uh, there's one more thing which we, we can use to uh, differentiate these transactions and that is i'm going to add minus chrome so this will actually bring the difference so that if uh, we want to identify the transactions it will be easy for us to identify them so let me make the change here because once we run the test we can understand uh, what could be the difference in response times i don't uh, uh, say that I won't say that there will be a huge difference, but the mimicking of the browser will definitely have some changes in it. So that's the reason we will we'll test it and see how does it work. And here, here, Firefox. And now, anyways, I'm going to create the generate the parent sample. So we'll get only these transaction controller these transaction names so that's not going to be a big deal and then finally the edge so let me copy this let me quickly paste it and then we'll move on to the testing part so yep again uh, just to uh, quickly recap so i have uh, I have a thread group and under the thread group, I have added the HTTP header manager. And then, yep, now we are done. And let me close this, uh, sorry, clear this. And now we have like 150 users with three iterations. So let me reduce the number. I don't want to just kill the system. Uh, so let me just make it to 10, 10 users for each thread group. And yep. So let me run this or write single, come to the summary report. Yep, so I think we have got some errors here. Let's fix it and then we'll move forward. So the issue previously was I haven't kept the proper file name for the uh, CSV file. So now I have fixed it and let's run the script now yep so the uh, test has started and uh, yep. so i have actually uh, to uh, debug this i have reduced the user load to one uh, so that i can easily fix and find the find and fix the issue so that's why i have reduced it to one so for now uh, you can see um, the transactions have started to populate so for the first script it took like 4.15 as the average response times. And then let me move on to the Firefox. So it's almost the same. And then moving on to the Chrome. Yep, so it's almost the same. But again, the point here is we are running this test with, like we are trying to mimic this with multiple browsers. So in case if you really want to mimic your browser, your testing, so you can do that. and. Yep, so meanwhile, you can check that as well. So the request, the request header, and here you can see the user agent, which is edge for this test. And then for the Chrome, you can see it's, it's a different one. And then for the Firefox as well. Yep, uh, I'm really sorry. So I haven't changed this for every individual request in case if you see here for every request, it's been uh, recorded as Firefox, the Mozilla. So this is the browser which I have used for recording. So now what I will do is let's try to uh, replace the value for this request. And let me show you how to do that for all these transactions. So how can we fix this, which is for every individual request. So how can we fix or how can we change the, um, or how can we mimic the browsers for that? There is an option. So go to the recording controller, the script, and then, uh, sorry, you can even do that here. Uh, go to the Chrome, add a config element, which is the user defined variable. And then now let's copy this value here. So I'm copying this user agent. 
coming back to the user defined variable. Okay, let me copy the entire one so that is easy for me. So just copy this. Uh, just copy and then come to the user defined variable and add from clipboard. So this will save the value for me. And here I'm going to replace the value as the user agent. So let me go to the request and then dollar yep user agent then let me copy this go back to the next header manager and same way i can do this for all uh, at least for this one and then i'll show it for the other as well so this is how you can uh, uh, change the or mimic the value Okay, this is Chrome, right? But I'm uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing the right one. Yep. So Chrome, and coming back to the other scripts. Yep, so, so far uh, I have changed the values and uh, for Firefox anyways, it's going to be the same. So I'm not going to make any change. And uh, for this one, so it's Mozilla, the Gecko Firefox, and then moving on to the uh, the previous one, the for the uh, uh, previous on the Chrome. So it's, it's quite different. So what we'll do is let's do a quick thing. So I'm going to disable the edge for now. Let me disable it. I'm going to just have only the uh, uh, Chrome and the Firefox. So let me add a overall summary report so that I can watch all these responses in the same one. So now let me start the test with like 10 users each. So I'm going to run only for the uh, Chrome and Firefox with two different user agents. So let me start the test and then we'll go on to the view results tree and we'll see how do they really work? So if I, if you see here for the Firefox, it's the Mozilla Windows Win64 Gecko. And then for the Chrome, it's added. The Chrome has been added. So if you see the previous one, the Chrome was not there. Uh, it's only the Mozilla, the Firefox. And then when it is coming to Chrome, so it's Mozilla, Apple WebKit A, W, K, and then the Chrome and then the Safari. So since this is a Chrome browser and now let's go to the summary report and see. Yep, there's a quite a difference. If you see, um, for example, the Chrome has 97. Uh, yep, the, the response times are changing. So we need to wait until it gets completed. It gets uh, a final value. but. Again, if you see overall, there is a it's a quite difference. Like for the Chrome, it, the the response times are quite different, and for the Firefox, it's it's a little bit different. Not for all the transactions, but at least for a few transactions, you, we can find a little bit of differences in the transaction. At least you can see it in the max. So for the Chrome, the max uh, is 142, and for the Firefox, it's 121, and for the second transaction, it's 37, and for the second one in Firefox, it's 33. So it's same way. Yep, there is it's a quite a difference, and uh, this, in fact, will emulate, like, for example, uh, the users might be using a different set of browsers and to emulate that, yes, so we have to use these options like uh, using the user agent. So let me just show you uh, one last time the user agents and then we'll close it off. So uh, this here is the user agent for Chrome, the Mozilla 5.0, and then the second one for the Firefox. Um, this here, the Mozilla 5.0 Windows NT uh, Gecko Firefox is the user agent. And then coming to the edge, so here, uh, this is the, uh, at the end, you can see Chrome Safari Edge, which is the user agent for Edge. So with that, uh, you can see how to mimic or how to emulate different browsers using Jmeter. So with that, I come to an end, and I definitely believe this video would be very useful to you. So until I meet you in our next video, it's Bye bye from Asan Shanmugam and your favorite little star YouTube channel. Bye bye.